now I just stop the Wireshark uh, and uh, now I just stop the Wireshark and uh, since there is already a filter that is applied over there I just press enter and it show all the capture all the packets that are captured uh, by my Wireshark on that inter interface now I from from this uh, uh, it shows all the traffic that is uh, uh, captured on my this shows all the traffic that is captured on my Wi-Fi interface so it means that I am running many different applications it, uh, uh, I have a Skype that is active I have uh, a Chrome browser in which there is already a page open for Linux kernel release Similarly, I am on the back and maybe I am running an OWASP antivirus, maybe setup channel, maybe I am running many different applications. So it means that those uh, packets that are captured by this Wireshark are not specific to the page that I have opened. It, uh, but I know that the page that I have opened uh, is case.reduce.pk. This why this uh, the all the traffic of ks.edu.pk is also captured here so now my task is to identify a traffic uh, of ks.edu.pk <clears throat> okay so you you already know uh, one thing uh, maybe uh, we have already revised those things uh, we need to revise i have not once i write uh, ks.edu.pk here then uh, what will happen I, once I type case.edu.pk, so do I know the IP address of a case? No. I don't know the IP address of a case. Then how my browser gets the IP address of a case? Yes, very true. Uh, using a DNS. Okay? Uh, my browser gets the... Sub, uh, so first of all, a DNS request is sent from my browser, from my system to a DNS server that is configured. Uh, so currently, if I want to see a DNS server which is configured, so uh, which DNS server is configured? Right now, this is the DNS server which is configured. Uh, so it sent a request to 192.168.18.1 IP address, and that IP. Uh, so my system creates a request of uh, a DNS request and it sends that DNS request to this IP address 192.168.18.1. We will see this thing. Uh, uh, is it sending on this or uh, not? So is, uh, that means uh, first of all we need to identify the uh, DNS traffic. So let's type here our DNS and it will show all the DNS traffic that are going uh, from my system to uh, so you see a lot of DNS traffic that is there and there is a DNS query that is sent from my uh, browser from my system uh, to for ks.edu.pk and if you look into the IP address this is the IP address of my system 192.168.18.12 and this is the IP address of DNS server <clears throat> Similarly, if I go to the uh, uh, protocol transport layer, DNS is using which protocol? UDP. Yes, DNS server is using DNS uh, uh, is using a protocol which is a UDP protocol, and DNS server always listen on an I, uh, port which is port fifty three. Okay, DNS server is always on the listen mode, and it listen on a port which is port fifty three, just like HTTP. Uh, server is listening on port 80 which is a transport layer protocol whereas in case of a dns it it is running a udp uh, protocol and it listen on uh, port 53 this is the source port my system picks a random source port and send that to uh, port number 53 of this ip address 1 into 168 18.1 so uh, by the way uh, at this point uh, that has nothing to do with the current lecture but we you need to know about how my system gets the IP address and uh, this DNS server IP address name of the DNS server IP address default gateway and other things we already talked about this thing and you already uh, performed an assignment on this thing and uh, my system gets those things using it's CP protocol yes very well so it sent a request on this thing uh, so uh, this server which is running on 192.168.18.1 needs to reply back for ks.edu.pk 
need to reply the IP address of case.edu.pk. So uh, this is the response. This is the response which is coming back for case.edu.pk. And uh, uh, by the way, let's let's look into the uh, 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 before going to the response. Let's look into the uh, DNS uh, domain name system DNS packet. This is the DNS packet. It has different fields. Uh, we are not talking about those fields. We are focused on the query. So it says that I am sending a query whose name is case.edu.pk. I want to know the IP address of case.edu.pk. In this, this is the response of this packet. Uh, so response is coming from the DNS server and this is the IP address of my system and response is coming from the DNS uh, uh, server to my system and in this response it says that you set a query for case.edu.pk okay? I have an answer for that query and I am saying that the case.edu.pk has an address of 203.124.43.205 see this is the IP address of them so it means that my DNS server actually tells uh, my system that the IP address of case.edu.pk is 203.124.43.205 so uh, what next now <clears throat> what will happen then my question is uh, uh, in order to uh, identify the next steps that will happen on uh, over there is so my question is uh, which transport layer protocol do http uses yes http uses actually uh, tcp transmission control protocol at the transport layer so what it means now my system knows about the ip address of case.edu.pk dns uh, uh, sorry case.edu.pk web server uh, and that web server actually uses http so underneath that http my system now needs to establish a connection with that web server and that connection uh, is a TCP connection. Is it okay now? So it means that my system now tries to establish a connection with 203.124.43.205, a TCP connection with the server. So it means that my system sends a, uh, a request uh, of uh, TCP packet in which uh, TCP SYN flag is one okay? uh, and then uh, and it sends that request the IP of my system is 192.168.18.1 so our request is sent from this IP to this IP and then this IP replies back to this IP in, in that packet a SYN flag and an acknowledgement flag should be one and then finally, my system actually sends an acknowledgement flag and then this will complete a three-way handshake. Now, let's see okay, how this three-way handshake actually uh, uh, we can identify over there. Now, what we can do at this point, I have only a DNS packet. So, I need to remove this filter. <clears throat> press after removing the filter, I need to press enter. So these are all the packets uh, um, that can contribute for DNA, uh, for case.edu.pk and uh, other different applications that are running on my systems. So this is the response packet that we have seen. Uh, now let's look down and find out a TCP SYN packet. So this is a TCP SYN packet. It's so my system with an IP address of uh, 192.168.18.12 is sending a packet to 203.124.43.205. This is the IP address of case is sending TCP SYN packet uh, to this. Uh, uh, in, in this packet, this is a TCP packet. In this packet, if we open this TCP packet, we will see uh, there are a lot of other things uh, we will not go into in detail. Uh, 
let's see these are the flags of the packet uh, there are many different flags uh, we will talk about those flags but this is the most right now this is the most important which is a sin flag a sin flag is sent set one uh, so my system is sending a packet uh, to this ip address we can see this thing so uh, if you look into the transmission control protocol tcp so this is the source port that my system randomly selects a port okay and send a packet to a destination system on a port 80 because http actually listen on port 80 okay if ip protocol this is the ip address of my system this is the ip address of case system if I look into the Ethernet protocol, this is the uh, Ethernet address of my system and this is the Ethernet address of the router Jahan se mein connected. So uh, this is the source port and this is so uh, ultimately this system uh, is sending a packet. You can see there are two packets that my system is sending uh, one with the port number of uh, uh, 498.59 and other with the port number 498.60. Okay. Uh, to uh, these are the two SIM packets that are sent. This system reply on both of those packets, and my system then sent on. And then this is the reply that is coming from uh, the uh, case server. This IP address. Uh, uh, in this packet, if I open this packet, I will exactly see uh, it has two flags. One is the acknowledgement flag, and other is the SIM flag. These both flags are set one. And then my system is sending a reply. Uh, my system is sending a reply. In, in that reply, only the acknowledgement flag is set one. Okay. So now, after that, uh, it means a three-way handshake is completed. And now you see uh, uh, my system is sending uh, an HTTP uh, uh, message, which is HTTP GET type of message to this system which is 203.124.43.25 now let's look into this <coughs> let's look into this in detail uh, so um, now by looking into this thing uh, what can i say uh, so by looking into this By looking into this thing, I can say that uh, since I have established two connection, uh, my HTTP request is sent on this connection with the port number of 49, uh, 498.59. So it has this port on I'm sending this port. So this is the HTTP GET message and I'm sending a GET message. And now if you look into the detail of this HTTP message, it, it is a GET message of type GET and it is sent to a host name case.edu.pk this is the fqdn and it says one more thing it says connection open keep alive take a connection ka status it, it is how you can differentiate between persistent and non-persistent it is using a uh, uh, mozilla i'm using a mozilla uh take uh, user agent mere paas ye hai aur wo ye hoga cookies aage encoding aage language aage and so on so uh, uh, my, this is the uh, get request that my system is sending now in in response to that server is uh, sending a reply message which is again an http message uh, one way to do it is since uh, there are many there are a lot of packets and it is difficult to actually identify that packet from here so an easy way to do this thing is let's do it uh, I just click on right click over there and then go to follow and follow HTTP stream okay this is the HTTP stream that I'm following now I have applied a filter over there which is TCP dot stream equation uh, uh, EQ 96 so this is the stream that I'm looking into it so this is the HTTP get packet okay yes three-way handshake packet now HTTP response are over. So let's go down and see the response of HTTP. So this is the response. Okay. So this is the response. It says that uh, if you remembered, you know, it is saying it is 73 reassembled PDF, TCP segments. You picture TCP segments. Uh, 
सिंस आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू कि मेरे पास इफ पैकेट साइज इज बिगर तो पैकेट नीड्स शुड बी ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू स्मॉल पीसेस है सो ये ये कह रहा है कि मेरे पास वो पैकेट क्योंकि बड़ा था तो उसने पैकेट को तोड़ा है और वो पैकेट डिफरेंट पीसीस की फॉर्म में गया तो वो उसने इस डेस्टिनेशन ने आके उसको मैच सिस्टम ने आके उसको रिसम्बल किया और वो सेवेंटी थ्री रिसम्बल टी सी पी सेगमेंट्स थे जिनको उसने रिसम्बल किया है हम लोग इसकी जब टी सी पी को देखेंगे तो मल्टीपल डिटेल में इसकी ओवरऑल और डिटेल में जाएंगे एंड इट्स सेंग एच टी पी ओके ये दिस इज़ अ रिस्पॉन्स आ रहा है और ओके का रिस्पॉन्स आ रहा है कॉन्टेंट टाइप प्राइवेट आ रहा है कौन टेक्स एच टी एम एल आ रहा है डेट आ रही है जिस दिन ये रुका हुआ है रिस्पॉन्स टाइम आ रहा है request url then it is also telling you our request url this is the reference uh, url jisko phir further mira system dobara further request karega aur iska response aayega so if i look into this thing the mere system ne dobara http ki get request bheji hai isko uh, this is the same one theek hai usko usko send kiya hai aur uska phir uh, http ka response aayega and uh, so on and so forth ठीक है तो मेरे पास जितने भी मल्टीपल इसकी रिक्वेस्ट जो आएंगे तो उसको फर्दर ये रिक्वेस्ट सेंड करेगा और उनके रिस्पांस आएंगे और उन रिस्पांस को अपनी जगह के ऊपर उन ऑब्जेक्ट्स को ये डिस्प्ले करेगा सो डू यू हैव एनी क्यूरी यू कैन आस्क मी अवर